Hi, I'm Kathy Connor Murillo, the Crafty Chica, and I'm here at Riley Blake Designs sharing a project with you from my Eleanor collection that I designed. And we are going to make these beautiful affirmation heart pillows, also known as manifestation pillows. Now, I am a hyper creative. I love to combine textures and patterns and ideas for easy sewing projects to attract good energy into our lives. So for this project, what it is, it's this little heart pillow. It has a little applique on the front that I cut out from one of the fabric designs and you turn it over and there's a little pocket. And the pocket is where you write down your manifestation, whatever it is that you want to attract into your life or just remind yourself of what is important to you and insert it in there. And you can use this in your office, on your desk, wherever you'd like on your nightstand, just to remind you of the good things in life that are around you, take note of them. Now to make this project, this is what we're going to need. We're going to need some stuffing, some straight pins, a rotary cutter, a turner, little mini scissors to cut the little threads, pinking shears, and chalk. All right, so I will set these right here. I have two different templates that you can use. We're gonna go with this smaller template and we'll set this aside. And you're going to need three pieces of fabric. I have these cut to about um, 10 by 10 inches. You could use the pre-cut stack. It works beautifully for this. And you want to choose what layer you want for the front, the back, and the pocket. So I'm gonna go with the stripe, the black, and the white. We're going to line these up fold them, just like we did in grade school. Fold the heart, <laughs> put it on here, and you're going to take your chalk, trace it around, just like this, and then cut the three pieces out. Okay, we'll set these aside. Okay, so now we have these three hearts. One of them's going to be the pocket and one is going to be the front and one will be the back. So before we work on the pocket, let's take the front. We're going to put this little applique, La Artista. This is from one of the prints in the collection and we're going to use our pinking shears and cut this out. And this is just to give our heart some personality. If you're sewing, that means you're creative. It means you're an artista, an artist. So I'm just trimming this around. I'm gonna place this right here in the center and pin it in place. This. Make sure it's nice and even. And now I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm gonna use a zigzag stitch to sew this in place. Now I'll remove the pins to cut these excess threads. This. And now we have the front of our heart. Now we're going to take the back part that's going to be the pocket. For that, we'll use this one. And what we're going to do is, let's press this part. We're going to press the top parts of the heart over like this. And we're gonna give it one more fold and press that in place. You want to have your pocket low enough so that it doesn't show 
at the front of the heart. So we will test that out right now. So this is a good length about right here. And now I'm going to take this to, machine, to the machine and do a straight stitch along here. Back stitch. And I'm going to back stitch again. Okay, and then I'll just trim these threads. And this is a great project to make multiples of. So if you're, they make great party favors, little gifts, because they're just so easy. So now what we're going to do is we're going to line up the pocket with the back fabric. So we have this lined up. This is what the pocket's going to look like. And then we're going to place the front of the pillow face down and we're going to pin it around, but we're going to leave a space open at the bottom so that we can turn it around and then insert the stuffing and close it shut. And I'm using a quarter seam allowance. And I will cut these little threads. And now uh, around the seam here, I'm going to cut some little notches. And this is so that when I turn it right side out, it will lay nice and flat and not pucker so much. Okay. All right, here is the magic moment. So you want to make sure that you take the back side, the pocket is attached to the back and the, here's the front and we're just going to turn it right side out. Just take your finger, go through the little curves like this. So we have the pocket there and we have the front, and now it's time to add the stuffing. And if you want, you could use this to put your seams out. Okay. So now we can close up this side and you can choose if you want to sew it with an invisible stitch by hand with a needle and thread, but for today I'm just going to do it on the machine. I have white thread to match the front of the heart. I'm just going to pin this. Back stitch. And I'm going to get close to the edge, about an eighth of an inch. Okay, it's all done. Now we're just going to clip these little excess threads. And here is our manifestation pillow heart. But you know what? It's missing one thing. It's missing the manifestation. So this is one that I wrote earlier and I'll share it with you. It says, please make all my sewing projects perfect. <laughs> here it is. So I'm just going to put this in there and I'm gonna put this in my sewing room next to my sewing machine. So it will always be there giving me good energy and right before I go to start on a project, I can just pull this out and read it and start sewing and life will be so sweet. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kathy Conamurillo, the Crafty Chica, and thank you for checking out my Eleanor collection with Riley Blake Designs. Please share if you like this project, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know if you make any of these pillows, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks everyone, bye-bye, happy sewing.